Up next, Flora Lickman is here with, with our video pick of the week. Hi, Flora. Hi, Ira. And this week, another winner, I'm sure. Well, this week, I got to use the awesomest imagery. So last week, NASA released um, the latest in the Blue Marble series. And most people have seen this image. It's of Earth. And they put out a new one. And I was curious how how this works. I mean, I... When I first looked at it, I thought, oh, that's a beautiful photograph. Right. We all do, right? That would be wrong. Snap with <laughs> your Polaroid. <laughs> <laughs> that would be wrong. It is not a photograph at all. No so kidding. It is a composite of data sets from a bunch of different instruments on, on satellites that are, you know, circling the globe. And they're taking data from, of like, phytoplankton content in the sea, and that gives you what color the ocean is going to be. And then there's another instrument that's looking at the light coming off of the land, and that gives you another layer. So these are the, that's sort of how the older blue marbles were made. The, the first, well, maybe we should step back here, because there's a long history of this really <laughs> iconic imagery. Um, and, and, and you tell it on a video. It's our video pick of the week up there on Science Friday. And you go through this whole story very well. And you tell <laughs> well, the story with pictures. And it's uh, such beautiful pictures. The, I mean, you know, I think you could argue that these are maybe the most mind-expanding images in human history. Or anyway, right. uh, you could argue against that too. But I think that that's a reasonable thing to say. Absolutely. Um, and in, in 1968, the first one came out. It was Apollo 8, and it was Earthrise. Do you right. remember this photo? Uh, I, I do. I I was around then. For, for <laughs> well, do you remember what it was like to see it? Was yes, it, as... it was. It was. You know how it's the iconic picture where we think of we watch the moon rising over the Earth, right, right on the horizon. Right here, the Apollo eight astronauts were circling the moon, and there was Earth rising. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. It's tiny little Earth, a little blue dot. You know, and you could see the oceans and the clouds and everything else. I mean, it was it was kind of a revelation to me, and this really is revealing of of my naivete and and age, but that, you know, we hadn't really thought about the Earth as that whole single hole in space until 1968, 1972, when Apollo 17 snapped the full disk image. And then Carl Sagan came out with his pale blue dot. Right. And that cemented the whole idea. Right. I think that was, and that, that was sort of the capstone on it until 2002 when Rob Simmon, who's one of the, the NASA people I talked to this week, created this sort of digital 2.0 version of the blue marble. And that's what I was talking about before, where you have these different layers of data that are then translated into an image. Mm -hmm. Um, And one of the funny things about this, I thought, was that in that version anyway, the, the instrument, the satellite Terra, when they're taking data, there are these gaps between the ribbons of sort of data it's getting as it's collecting. Right. So you have like a little hole of data, right. basically, between right. each ribbon. So they had to Photoshop in <laughs> some clouds and stuff, which really seemed to bother him. <laughs> but so, of course. <laughs> I yeah. mean, why? Of course right. it would. Right. But what are you going to do? So this is the new, the new image that came out this week, um, which is just a snapshot. It's not a full globe. Mm. Um, doesn't have any gaps. So okay. so I talked to Gene Feldman about how you might use science like this and, and that. You can t- hear about that in the video, too. But the, the good news is that the next blue marble, if, should there be one, um, will not be Photoshopped. Not Photoshopped. <laughs> we won't need to do that. No. No need to fill in the gaps if you know, NASA's still got money and they're making, <laughs> taking more pictures. <laughs> we'll have another blue marble. So this is, this is blue marble like 2.0. I mean, this one is like three dot yeah, zero, but but yeah, it's 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 like mm. Earth eye candy. It's beautiful. It's, it's up, really beautiful. It is stuff. gorgeous. You know, it's up there on our website at sciencefriday.com. dot com, and you, and you're listening because the the story you tell is terrific and how this all came about. But the pictures are just so marvelous. They you, really you're are. Not listening anymore <laughs> to the stories. You're watching the beautiful pictures of the of the Earth and how it was all made. Thank you, Flora. Thanks, Ira. So that's a video pick of the week. Flora Lichtman's up there on our website at sciencefriday.com. dot com. And uh, you can take it with you on our iPhone or Android app or download it on our website. That's about all the time we have today. Our senior producer is Annette Heist. Charles Berquist is our director. Flora Lichtman is our multimedia editor. And our producers are Christopher Intagliata, Namisha Sarinanan, Sam Flato is our production assistant. Neil Rausch is our technical director at the controls here, ably assisted by Manoli Weatherall. And if you missed any part of our program or others as i say you can go to itunes and subscribe to our podcast audio and video also download we have an updated updated app coming out there itunes app so you want to get the latest version of it it's got all kinds of new stuff in it and you can take it along with you 
We're tweeting at SciFry all week long, and uh, join our growing community on our Facebook page, slash SciFry. I'm Ira Flato in New York.